welcome to my channel. I'm Devin and I have a very special guest with me today, a good friend of mine, Grant Hines. You may have seen him from uh, many TV shows. He does a lot of stuff for uh, what used to be Zoopy and uh, he's now on the Espresso Show and he has his own, own vlog channel, which is Grant Hines. Anyway, today we decided we're going to talk about some game legacy. Uh, we, we've been discussing a lot of things in the old days. We just came back from an epic StarCraft II Invitational Tournament. And it got us thinking about you know the old StarCraft one, and then what uh, what other games were around that that uh, period. So Grant had a couple of, of instant memories. Yeah, I was thinking. Back day. I was thinking. I actually never played StarCraft One. I can't believe you never played StarCraft. I played. I played it a few times, uh, but I never really got into it. I always thought that a game called Dark Colony was better. Dark Colony was very interesting because. Like, I, I used to think it was faster paced and a better game, and my mate that I used to play with, we were like, oh, Starcraft, Dark Colony, it's like, this is... We were hipster when it came to these games we before... Hipster. Before hipsters were cool. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, these I guys see. play Starcraft, we play like the underground version. No, that's too, that's too mainstream. It was way too mainstream. <laughs> Starcraft was mainstream. Yeah, okay. way too mainstream. Way too mainstream. Remember those IPX networks? The long black cables, and that you had to terminate them on either end. Very... Terminate them? Yeah, well, yeah, you had a little terminator on the end of the of the IPX. You actually, you <laughs> oh, get like I'll get like a back. You get like a T T. That's exactly what I always used to think. Like, and I'll get my terminator. I'll be back, and I'll get you the signal <laughs> later. <laughs> Bounce it back. So me, my dad, and my brother used to play Command and Conquer over here, and it was it was epic. And we played RTX games like they should be played. Everybody had a gentleman's agreement. We all built our bases. We built our armies. Then a message would go: Are you guys ready? For, 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 for. <laughs> Designate a place in the map. I did that with the Age of Empires. <laughs> but that's, that's how you, you conduct a, a civil war. Right? <laughs> I'm sure that's not right. But that's how we, we used to play. Nowadays it's all rush tactics. Well, it's, it, the, the agreement is from the get go that you are attacking. That's the agreement. That's the yeah. civil agreement. As soon as the game starts, you are going down. That's, that's a civil agreement. But they at least told them how they're going to go down. No. I, it's, uh, I never was at that stage where we did terminated cables and that business. I was like before your time. Yeah, way before my time. Oh, I'm um, really old. Never heard of that stuff. We used to play. We used to LAN a lot, and I just the whole necessity of going to someone's house for a weekend because it was so difficult to set up a PC with a LAN cable. Uh, it, it, it required you to make the, the most of that time. So the first Friday night you'd get there, well, Friday night that you get there, you would have to make sure that everybody's on the same cracked version of Counter-Strike, the same cracked version of StarCraft, and... Uh, well, back in those days, you didn't really, you just needed the game. No, you, no, you, you didn't, didn't have to crack StarCraft. No, but they're patched. No, you patched them. They were patches. No, but you didn't have to crack it. Oh yeah, well, StarCraft, no. But, but, but Counter-Strike you did. You needed to crack it, yeah, then patch the it, data. then Stop. patch the crack. Starcraft came before Counter-Strike. That was, that was back in the day when games were you know, still indie and, <laughs> and wholesome. <laughs> yeah, indie and wholesome. Well, it, it was just, it was very weird. It was, it was, it was very weird. It then was, you could it was only, a good time. Then was, you could only start playing on the Saturday. Oh, Quake 3 as well. It's Quake 3. Like, Quake 3 was fun. No, I don't know. You only could start playing on the Saturday, and then on the late Sunday your mom would pick you up, and <laughs> you didn't feel like... A Saturday morning would also be troubleshooting because you'd set it up the night before and then play a few games, a go to sleep, wake on Saturday morning, not working again. No, something's wrong. Just no, <laughs> it wouldn't work. So, oh, fun times. But I mean, times have changed now I mean, with the Xbox Live and everything like that. So many more people are online, which I, I, I don't mind, but I, I really miss the lands. I still hold lands with my friends every now and again. We say, let's get together, let's play some games, get some pizza, have a beer or two, and, and play some good old fashioned. Uh, games with it, where you can see your opponent crying in tears because you've just killed him or curb stomped him. On that note, I think it's really crap that they don't have as many split screen games. EA, you you are a pain in my face because you don't have any split screen games anymore. Burnout Paradise. Let me let me talk to you something about Burnout Paradise. Oh, okay. Sorry, getting, getting, getting real. Getting, getting real. Getting riled up. <laughs> Burnout Takedown Revenge. Burnout Revenge. I forget now. That game, my brother and I played. On the PS2, next it was the most played game in our house because we could sit on the couch, we could play together, split screen, and take each other down and like push each other and beat each other up. Fantastic game, one of the best races that has ever graced the face of this earth. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, still is a lot of fun. Still.
still is. Bernard Paradas comes out. But I had a lot of friends who felt the same way. That's why they had Bernard Paradas, that split screen experience, hoping that maybe you take it to the next level. Maybe four screens. Maybe we could have four players play. No. What you did was you just got rid of the split screen thing in total so that people could just play online. Uh, and it sucked. And we never played Bernard Paradise again. We played it for a little bit. Oh. It's a great game if you want to play online. But the highlight of Bernard Paradise was not knocking over AI or like guys you don't know online. It was knocking your mate who's sitting next to you. But I see that a lot now in some of the games. And I, it, I think they went through a phase where you know, the Xbox came in, PlayStation came in, they had system link games where you could connect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then some games came in and they took out the system link. I'm going, why, why would you do that? No, it's fun. It's not, I don't know, it just frustrated me. Just, and Xbox is so much more portable than a PC. Totally. Uh, well, that's exactly what I'm saying. Now, now we go to Xbox LANs, and the only thing you had to do is make sure that you knew which game you were going to play at the LAN and that you updated your game. And you had a copy of it. You had a copy of it. And you had to have a copy of it. No cracking of that. It's going to be happening. Uh, so you get to the LAN and then you plug in, but inevitably somebody forgot to update one of their games. So now you have to scurry around for a 3G connection and hotwire hot an Xbox to a laptop so they can use the 3G dongle so they can do the update, which takes forever. But fortunately the Xbox updates will go to the, the like two or four minutes mm -hmm. to update, which is, which is nice. It's nice to have some. But yeah, you know, that was the only real issue. And we, we still play Xbox Live, no Xbox LANs, like Gears of War, Halo. Racing games like that. I need more coffee. You need more coffee. Jeez. This guy drinks a ridiculous amount of coffee. No wonder you're always hyper jumping around like a mad boo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go fill this cup of coffee. Bye.